Connor McDavid's biggest rival just embarrassed the Oilers. Drafted just behind McDavid at second overall in 2015 by the Buffalo Sabres, Jack Eichel scored a back-breaking goal to put the Golden Knights up 4-1 in the second. Watch Eichel recognize the breakout opportunity, take off to the inside, and then shift gears back to the outside to drop the Oilers defenseman Bouchard, and then Eichel is able to take his time and pull the puck in to open up some room, and then just dart it low glove side for a beautiful goal. He then taunts the Oilers crowd as a celebration. This shot goes just under the glove of Skinner, and the Oilers drop Game 3, 5-1 to the Vegas Golden Knights. While obviously not the response the Edmonton Oilers wanted, at the very least, their top guys have proven that they show up in their response game. Because the Oilers have yet to lose back-to-back -back games in the playoffs this year, and that's all the more reason to not worry so much about the final score of tonight's game. One thing that's really interesting about this Edmonton team, when they lose, they never look like themselves. But when they win, there's always something special happening. They win and McDavid scores a highlight real goal, or Drysaddle has a night and picks up a couple points. Campbell comes in as relief and steals a game. Evander Kane puts on a show. The Oilers definitely have to be one of the most entertaining teams to watch in the playoffs. But if you recall, there was a time where Jack Eichel actually said that he felt he was better than Connor McDavid, that he should have been the number one pick. Well, obviously in hindsight, he couldn't have been more wrong, but you know he loves to go up against McDavid, especially when he gets to score goals like this one. Now, we're in for a tight series between the Golden Knights and the Oilers. McDavid's definitely got a couple more highlights on the way, but because the Golden Knights were the least penalized team in the regular season this year, if they can stay out of the box, they might actually have the upper hand on the Oilers. Of course, only time will tell and I want to know your thoughts on this series and most importantly this game. So let me know in the comment section below how many games will this series go. Hit that subscribe button for more hockey content and drop a thumbs up for more NHL playoff content. It's Cappy and I'm out.